Mm -hmm. Kind of gives you a glimpse of all the steps and stages you go through with this world. And of course the miracles Jesus describes, uh, I think it's six stages of development of trust. It's like giving a snapshot of your spiritual journey. And four out of the six are difficult or challenging. And many of us can relate to that. It's been our life. <laughs> It's good to be prepared for whatever emotions come up. It can help strengthen your resolve of your willingness and determination to go all the way with this healing. And the summary of gifts at the end, one of them was the gift of problems. How would you ever know that you need healing unless you had the gift of problems? If you were asleep and dreaming, but you forgot that you were dreaming, and you took the dream to be real, you would need something to jolt you to back to healing. It's like the movie um, Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. He gets stuck in so many layers of dreaming, dreaming on top of dreaming, on top of dreaming, dreaming, that he needs a big wake-up kick to come out of the dreaming. So for all of us, it's a combination of a course in miracles and extreme intense emotions that's our wake-up kick to start the process of waking up from a deep slumber. <laughs> And so, if you see the context, you can actually start to welcome problems into your experience. And you can do this if you have a confidence that they will not last, that they're just like passing clouds that must pass through. That there's a much greater purpose behind these seeming problems. That's why Raymer had that prayer in New York twice, praying it on, Holy Spirit. Because we, we first must expose the darkness in order to reach the light. So, 
your problem solving method becomes first acknowledging what you're feeling. Acknowledging that you need help. Ja se, että tarvitsen apua. Asking for help. Ja se, että pyydän apua. And finally being willing to receive the help ja lopulta, that is given you. Ja lopulta halukkuus ottaa vastaan se apu, joka annetaan. And this was a great movie for that, because the main character was very arrogant and closed down at the beginning. Ja tämä oli erittäin hyvä elokuva tästä aiheesta, koska se päähenkilö oli ylimielinen ja sulkeutunut tällä asialla alussa. Very egoic and centered on uh, his own way, his own uh, lifestyle, spending money. Ja hän oli hyvin ekokeskeinen ja hän oli oman elämäntyylinsä rahan tuhlaamisen uh, pauloissa. And then we got to see at the end him experience a life of giving, just wanting to give, fully give. Ja lopussa me näemme hänen kokevan äh, elämän sen antamisen kautta, jossa hän niin kuin, todella antoi täysin. Just imagine the power of our mind when we all join together in giving. Kuvitelkaapa meidän Mielemme voima, me kaikki yhdymme, yhdistymme tähän antamiseen. There would be nothing that would be difficult for us. Ei olisi mitään, ei mitään, joka olisi meidän vaikeaa. If we needed to join together in gatherings like this to strengthen our trust, it would come so easy. Jos meidän pitäisi kokoontua tällä tavalla yhteen voimistaaksemme meidän luottamustamme, se olisi helppoa, se olisi niin helppoa. If we needed to extend the gift of our happiness to our brothers and sisters, all the means would be given to us effortlessly. And all of this because God wants us to be happy. Kaikki siksi, että Jumala haluaa meidän olla onnellisia. It's God's will that we be happy. So Jumala tahto, että olemme onnellisia. And God's will cannot fail. Ja Jumalan tahto ei voi epäonnistua. There's a workbook lesson where Jesus says the same thing in the workbook lesson seven times. On yksi semmoinen työkirjan oppitunti tai työkirjan tehtävä, jossa Jeesus sanoo saman asian seitsemän kertaa. Your sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Sinun syntymyksesi on Jumalan takana, se on taattu. He repeats that seven times in one workbook lesson. Jeesus toistaa sen siinä samassa tehtävässä seitsemän kertaa. He's just promising us you are innocent. I promise you. Hän lupaa meille, että olet syytön. And that's how we come back to the state of giving, knowing that we're innocent. Because it's only a feeling of guilt that holds us back. We would be so, so loving without this guilt in our mind. So I'm, I'm interested in hearing what your experiences are tonight with this amazing movie. Yeah, interrupt and ask if, if people are going to the sauna. Yeah.
I don't know if it is really release about the movie and it is not, but basically, like you mentioned earlier already today, that when you have this uh, dark moment, when it seems like the, when the ego is getting a uh, grip on the mind and, uh, and you feel really, really dark and sad and afraid, how do you get over it? <laughs> <laughs> En tiedä, liittyy sitä kysymykseen suoranaisesti elokuvaan, mutta se on sitä asiasta, josta aikaisemmin puhuttiin, kun sillä on semmoinen hyvin synkkä hetki. Ja tuntuu siltä, että teko saa todella sy- niin kuin vahvan otteen sun mielestäsi. Niin miten siitä pääsee yli? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is, uh, you have to allow yourself to Feel it fully. Ensimmäinen asia, kun mulle tulee mieleen, on, että sun täytyy antaa itsellesi lupa tuntea se täysillä. And so I can say, I spent years trying to avoid it and to not feel it. Ja mun kertoo, että itse minulla oli vuosia, kun yritin välttää sitä tunnetta ja yritin olla tuntematta sitä tunnetta tosissaan. So I, I made the healing process very, very long for me. Ja siksi, ja siten tein itselleni tästä parantumisen prosessista hyvin, hyvin pitkään. But once I turned my mind over to the spirit and turned it around. Mutta sitten lopulta kun annoin mieleni pyhälle hengelle ja käänsin asetelman ympäri. I realized that this does not have to be a long process. Huomasin, että ei tämä ole pitkä prosessi. But that was just my choice. So And so, from that point on, the people that I've met in my life, have been reflections of it's going much, much faster. Uh, because I spent years defending against the Holy Spirit. Minä itse käytin vuosia siihen, että puolustauduin pyhähenkeä vastaan. And nowadays the, these devoted ones listen regularly to the Holy Spirit nykyään, all through the day. Nykyään nämä asialle omistautuneet ihmiset niin kuuntelevat äh, säännöllisesti pyhähenkeä koko, läpi koko päivän. And they would tell you that it's, it's intense, it's It's like an intense passage. Yeah, he kertovat, että se on hyvin intensiivistä, hyvin voimakas um, polku eteneminen. But even that is, is still not essential. It's just usually experienced that way. Mutta sekään ei ole niinku olennaista. Se on vain tavanomaista, että niin se koetaan. If you are extremely willing jos olet erittäin halukas, then pain is optional. Silloin kipu on ihan vaihtoehto, vapaaehtoista, voi valita, että on valitsemaan. Because pain is not a part of God's plan. Koska kipu ei ole itse asiassa ole osa tätä Jumalan suunnitelmaa laikaan. Pain is just the ego resistance to God's plan. Kipu on egon vastustusta Jumalan suunnitelmaa. And so... The faster you can see that there is nothing outside of you. The faster you come to a deep state of peace of mind. And our community really uses lots of music and movies. Ja meidän yhteisömme käyttää hyvin paljon 
manger qu'ailleurs ou bien? I find that both of those are means to get in touch with buried emotions very quickly. Olen huomannut, että molemmat niistä ovat keinoja päästä käsiksi semmoisiin uh, haudattuihin tunteisiin nopeasti. We call it the guided use of music and movies. Me kutsumme sitä ohjatuksi musiikin ja elokuvien käytöksi pyhän ohjelmassa. It cleans you out really fast. Puhdistaa sinut todella nopeasti. And then you get into your fruits of the spirit, your calling. Sitten pääset kutsumuksi luo tämän pyhän hengen tarjoamien hedelmien luo. And that's joyful beyond imagination. Ja se on nautinnollista kaiken, ei nautinnollisempaa kuin mikään tämä on kuvitella. Thank you so much for this movie. Mm. I was crying all the way through. <laughs> because I felt home even nearer. Because um, based on my own experiences, I have I had similar type of experience. Ja kun on tuntunut, että se tuli polttaa eteenpäin, eteenpäin, tapahtui mitä tahansa. And I, and I felt that the fire burns forwards, forwards on this journey, whatever happens. Ja uskon, että tämä on antanut teille kaikille todella paljon. And I believe this has given all of us very much. Onko antanut? Kädet pystyy, onko kaikki saanut? Loistavaa. Kiitoksia. Kiitoksia, kun halusitte katsoa ja osallistua tähän. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'd like to say something actually. Um, with the mic. With the mic. Good. <laughs> yeah, we have we have a house, a little house in Sweden actually, so we're not that far away from you here in Finland. Meillä on pieni talo Ruotsissa, joten emme ole kovin kaukana teistä täällä Suomessa. Where we will hold movie retreats like this. Jossa pidämme tämmöisiä elokuvaretriittejä vähän tähän tapaan. And we'll be watching many movies. Ja se on katsomme monia, monia elokuvia. And we'll have many conversations. Ja meillä on paljon keskusteluja niistä. And all the movies will all be based upon what's up in the moment. Ja kaikki elokuvat äm, valitaan sen perusteella, mitä siinä hetkessä tulee ylös. Just like David, he was talking about there's this beautiful practice going on in the Living Miracles community where watching movies every day is a part of life. In which I also said previously that there are many tools that you can use even at home. And there's a movie watcher's guide to enlightenment now online, so you can go on the website and you can search, depending on what topic it is that is coming up in your mind, you can search on the topic and get a whole list of movies that you can go through to purge in whatever is coming up to the surface. Movie watcher's guide to enlightenment, the Elokuvan katsoja opas valaistumiseen on nykyään jopa netissä. Sieltä voi käydä sen itselleen vakaamassa tai sieltä voi sen perusteella, mikä aihepiiri itselle nousee mieleen, niin hakusanalla löytää listan elokuvia, jotka liittyvät juuri tähän. This may not be, this may not be. Just go to M-W-G-E. Dot org. <laughs> Little intro. <laughs> <laughs> M W G E dot org. M 2 G E piste org. Sella letter. Ata kela bia. M 2 G E piste org.
that can move you, watchers, guide to enlightenment. Or you can go to livingmiraclecenter.org and you will find it there. Eli kävi vähän niin kuin se kirjan nimi, Movie Watchers Guide to Enlightenment, eli elokuvan katsojan opas valaistumiseen. Tai sitten voitte mennä livingmiracles.org nettisivulle, ja se löytyy se linkki sieltäkin. And there's also a little pamphlet or a booklet with movies that you can, you can uh, look in a booklet. So you have it right in front of you. Like a TV, and you can just immediately go there. <laughs> and like I said, we also have a house in Sweden, and we will be having three movie retreats this summer. So there will be two weekend retreats and one long week with just movies the whole week. Tulee olemaan kaksi viikonlopun mittaista retriittiä ja yksi koko viikon mittainen pitkä retriitti, missä on vain elokuvia. Where is the house? The house is in Sweden and it's in the middle of, uh, you could say, Arlanda and Copenhagen Airport in the middle. Ruotsissa tämä talo. Jos menee Tukolman Arlanda lentokentälle tai Kööpenhamman lentokentälle ja viittaa sen keskelle, keskipisteen se on siinä. Jönköping on siinä. Exactly, Jönköping. Okay. Yes. Jönköpingissä. So it's called Sulberga. Does... Okay. Sulberga, eli aurinkovuori. Aurinko on kukkuva. The sun mountain. <laughs> so it's a little house, so only six participants can stay at the house. So it's a very intimate retreat. Or we all can join together like this. So it's a very intimate retreat. A tiny tower. So the mahtu will be six people at a time. So the first one will be now Midsummer Eve weekend. Ja ensimmäinen näistä retriiteistä on nyt Juhannus viikonloppuna. And that one will be in Svenska. Plus Svenska. Se se tulee olemaan plus Svenska. In Swedish. Okay. And then the second one will be in English, and the third one will also be in English. And the second one will be on the 17th till the 19th of July. And the one in September, I don't know where or how or whatever. It's a week. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, the, I think too is the, the uh, translation is so precious mm. that we have these translations right now uh, in Finnish and these materials, this, this is a whole pathway to God uh, through movies, but eventually it will be translated to Finnish, I think, like the course, just because it's so helpful. Yes, definitely. Mm. Yeah, now, Um, nämä elokuvat on myöskin niin kuin, ä, polkuja tie Jumalan luokse. Ja nämä heidän materiaalit, jotka koskevat elokuvia, niin tulee jossain vaiheessa kääntämään suomeksi. Yeah. It seems to just be, over the years we find out what works the best to undo the ego, and it's the most interesting and enjoyable. Ja vuosien aikana ollaan tullut huomanneeksi, mikä toimii parhaiten ekosta irtautumiseen. Ja And then it it filters out into different cultures with different languages, and it takes a while for people to devotionally translate the tools into their own languages, like Spanish and Russian, Finnish. So it's been a few years since we've been able to get all the languages and cultures, but it takes a while for löytyy ihmisiä, jotka omistautuu sinne kääntämisen työlle, esimerkiksi Espanjasta tai Venäjästä tai niin edelleen. Yeah. And it's also why we, we may talk later about our return visits here, because every time we, we come together with this devoted purpose, the Spirit brings everything we need, including translations. And yeah, with Finland, Russia, you know, there's going to be a need to translate and, and express these tools that can really benefit people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
tulla uudestaan tänne. Ja, ja kun tulemme tänne uudestaan, niin pyhähenkeä järjestää kaikki, mitä tarvitsemme, esimerkiksi vaikka tulkkaamisen. Ja tulemme tarvitsemaan semmoista suomeksi ja venäjäksi ja myöskin kaikki nämä työkalut, mitä käytämme niin kuin elokuvien katsojien oppaan, niin nekin jossain vaiheessa tulevat tulkatuiksi käännetyiksi. Also, I just wanted to mention, because I mentioned music and movies, but silent retreats help together with some movie watching, uh, and deep healing can be a very powerful uh, tool as well. Silent, silent retreats. I also just wanted to add that one of the very powerful tools is a silent retreat retreat joka on yhdistetty elokuviin. Se on vaan hiljaa ja katsotaan elokuvia. And your, your country with all of these lakes and these beautiful trees is just a, a wonderful place for silent retreats. Ja teidän maa, ja okay. ja teidän maa ne, näiden kaikki ne kauniin ja maisemineen ää, olisi erinomainen paikka tälle hiljaisille hiljaisuuden retriiteille. Maybe even up to the north with the northern lights during winter in the stars that would be a very good location for a silent retreat is <laughs> maybe for us as well as so um missa tuta revon tulia ja tähti taivasta ja myös talvella voi olla hieno pitää hiljaisuuden retriittiä I just want to say too that you find the movie retreats that I was talking about at theopenheart.org. So it, that's a non-profit in Sweden. Theopenheart.org. And we also have a newsletter, so we send out information about events through the yes. newsletter. So if you sign up, then you you'd know. You don't have to go and visit the website all the time. <laughs> and I am really looking forward to come back to Finland. <laughs> if that would be happening, I'm just... Oh, my. <laughs> and I'm so close here, so you can just call me. <laughs> and I'm so close to Finland. I'm very available. Uh, yeah. It's, I wanted to say just briefly. How is such a wonderful example of us all being of one mind? So, um, so David was talking earlier when this uh, thing is changing for him and at the Course of Miracles mentions that it's only one God's teacher is needed, one savior that say, says nothing. And then I was, uh, the thought came to me that how about a silent retreat? <laughs> that's that's what.
done some silent retreats, and most recently in Australia for three three weeks. Francis on vetänyt näitä hiljaisia retriittejä viimeisimmän niistä Australiassa. Se kesti kolme viikkoa. Yeah, it was a wonderful experience. We had about 20 people um, who just dropped into silence straight away, and they didn't know each other. Se oli mahtava kokemus. Ne oli 20 ihmistä, jotka heti pudottautuvat siihen hiljaisuuteen, eivät tunteneet toisiaan lainkaan. And every day just um, the spirit, spirit actually bring out things to heal in the mind. Ja joka päivä pyhä henki toi mieleen asioita, ää, paranemisen asioita. Yeah, and we, we have guided meditation chanting and some healing uh, talks. Ne oli semmosia johdatuksen kautta tuloja meditaatioita. And because people they didn't talk to each other in the whole three weeks. But they're coming to my room to have one-on-one -on -one sessions with me every day. So I know all their problems that come out in the day are all shared with everyone. Suddenly one day everybody is having sexual thoughts. The next day everybody is bothered by these people pleasing people pleasing tendencies. And they, they all thought it's their own problem. <laughs> but I was listening to one person after the next and I was like, this is not your issue. <laughs> But we just allow the spirit to bring up thoughts to be looked at. And trust in that the healing happens. We have, you know, the three weeks is a long time to not speaking. And it went very, very deep, and there are certain times everybody started to have sickness or uh, sickness thoughts coming up. And look very deeply and watch them disappear. And at the end of the retreat, everybody felt so in love with each other and so connected without even knowing each other's names. Ja tämän retriit lopussa kaikki tunsivat syvää rakkautta toisiaan kohtaan ja tunsivat olla syvästi yhtä toistensa kanssa, vaikka ei olisi tienneet toistensa nimiä. Ja sitten after, when we finished the retreat, people started to talk to each other and they suddenly felt, wow, the connection is broken. Ja kun tämä retriit tuli ohi, ihmiset saattavat alkaa puhua ja kun ne puhuivat toisilleen, he ajattelivat, että oho, tämä yhteys on nyt kaikki. Yeah, it's a very, very deep and very, very healing experience for everyone. Mm. And I think even with um, this Mallorca retreat that we just had, everybody was going through so many miracles and so much healing. And then this morning we had a question about what is miracle. All these miracles and, and healings happened when the realization came to the mind. That, that spirit is, is with me all the time. That whatever I needed is already here. That's what that's you know, no matter the form of the healing and the miracles, that's the common realization of it. 
koska tämä on se, aina se äh, yhteinen äh, hu, äh, havainto, se, että kaikki on nyt tässä. This is the right awareness of the spirit. Mm. Ja olla tietoinen siitä pyhästä hengestä. And realizing that you can never lose that. Ja tiedosta on myös se, että sitä ei voi koskaan menettää sitä yhtä pyhästä hengestä. Yeah, so in that realization of fear actually is pure in the mind. Ja sen, sen, sitä, sen tiedostaessa niin pelko häviää mielestä. Mm-hmm. So in that, you know, like it doesn't matter whether it's um, a retreat, um, a talking retreat. Or a silent retreat. Um, it's all going to be orchestrated by the spirit. Mm. For this one realization. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so when we say silent or retreat, it doesn't mean that you will just sit or stand or walk um, and and have nothing to focus on. There's like guided collaborations, guided projects where you work together and can focus your mind during the silence. Mm-hmm. So it's not like a traditional meditation where you just sit all day and just watch your thoughts. That's really not the pathway of A Course in Miracles. Uh, in the miracle, you're used, the mind is used in a very focused way to bring purpose very strong into awareness. Yeah. Mm. Um, the mind is used in a bit of a focus on the focus on the the so, even when we talk about um, putting um, Finnish subtitles onto movies, or Finnish translations, or projects that, that help extend the gift that you are receiving, so that it blesses, that those are all helpful projects. Yeah, because it just it helps focus the mind. So that was part of my path was just letting myself be used in many, many helpful ways to focus my my mind in that direction. Se oli osa minun polkuani, että annoin äh, mieleni kohdentua äh, monella tavalla olla avuksi, että mieleni voisi kohdentua siihen suuntaan. So even though it's silence, it's a very full um, and deep and rich silence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kyseessä on hiljaisuus, niin se on semmoinen täysi ja rikas hiljaisuus. for the day, but it's just very precious that we can come together and just allow the emotions to come to the surface. That was the biggest question I had for the Spirit, was how can I bring the unconscious darkness to the surface? 
alitajuisen pimeyden pintaan. And the music, the movies and the silence do a great job of that. Ja, ja musiikki, elokuvat ja hiljaisuus, ne, ovat, ne tekevät ison työn tämän hyväksi, ne ovat hyviä työkaluja. Sometimes people will talk about affirmations or things that are a little more on the surface of consciousness. Monesti ihmiset puhuvat sellaisista asioista, jotka ovat ähm, tietoisuuden pinnassa, ulkopinnassa. And everything that helps you is, is good. But fact, it's just a matter of getting the darkness to come up is so important. Kaikki mitä sinun auttaa, sinun aina hyväksi. Kyse on siitä, että antaa tämän pimeyden nousta pintaan. Se on tosi tärkeää. And the pathway of a course of miracles is, is a pathway of relationships. Ihmeen oppikurssin polku on ihmissuhteiden polku. Letting them be used as mirrors to face unconscious darkness. Uh, antaa lupa näille ihmissuhteille tulla käytetyksi peileinä um, tästä alitajuisesta pimeydestä. So in that way it's it's kind of a unique path because many traditional paths just say leave the relationships out of the healing. But it's like Jesus is saying, no, we want the healing to occur as fast as possible. Mutta niin Jeesus sanoo, haluamme, että paraneminen tapahtuu niin nopeasti kuin mahdollista. Because um, delay is unknown in eternity, but tragic in time. Koska viivytys tai viivyttely, sitä ei edes tunneta ikuisuudessa, mutta se on traagista tässä ajassa. And God does not will for us to have tragedy. Eikä Jumala halua meille tragedioita. So it's been really precious for us to find what works and then give it away, extend it as far and as wide as possible. So that means for me, instead of living inside a cave, I am living in your living room. <laughs> and now it's even getting more spontaneous, so we'll see how all this goes. <laughs> they talk about um, being, Gary Renard talks about being able to teleport uh, instead of traditional means of uh, transportation. Coming soon. Semmoista puhutaan, myös Gary Renard puhuu, että pian on mahdollista teleportata itsensä paikasta toiseen, niin että ei tarvitse mitään kulkuvälineitä, vaan liikahtaa. So it's pretty sure that you'll either have a having me come into your living room or a, a hologram of me coming into your living room. Ja noin varmaan, että teidän olohuoneeseen ilmestyy joku minä tai sitten minun hologrammiin. I've been using airplanes for these years, but I think maybe a holographic three-dimensional image teaching would be the next step. <laughs> I'm doing it in dreams, but the only drawback to holograms is you can't hug them. But other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> so, is there any final questions before we wrap it up for tonight? Thank you. <laughs> you can go either way. You can speak in English and he'll translate it or Finnish. It's so difficult to speak when you're filled with gratitude. 
That movie really moved me. Touched me. I saw and felt how my ego is trying to make me shrink and shrink smaller. That's not the truth about me. Thank you. Thank you. One miracle. I don't I have wished for something inside me to let it break, break loose. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trust, listen, follow. Luota, hän kuuntele ja seuraa ohjausta. Telling people that it's like it's so touching. Yeah, we feel your hearts, your sincerity. And really that's that's the only motivation for us to to host or to travel anywhere. It's this deep heart connection. Se on meidän ainoa motivaatio, miksi me matkustamme minnekään, on juuri tämä syvä sydänten yhteys. It's been the same for me all of these last 24 years, just going where I feel a big invitation of the heart. Mm-hmm. Se on ollut mulle juuri tätä edes 24 vuotta, mennä sinne, missä mä tunnen sydämen kutsuvan. Yeah. And what you share, it's like, oh you're here. I hear this many times, people say, I, I was just thinking of you, and now you're on my couch, mm-hmm. in my house. <laughs> yeah. So we always ask people, just if you want us to come, or you want to come to the nearby, the Helena's house, just just communicate with us. That's, that's how uh, we came here first. To Harry and Leah, because we were invited to come from the heart. Yeah. And that's how we met. We just we met. We came together through this call of the heart. And we use most of our days in, in deep communication or in deep prayer and silence. We, the words get used in such a focused way. So we we've been sharing. We feel feel the call, and we're we're still uh, praying about um, possibly coming coming back, and and what form that could take, and what translations would be needed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And 
käännöksiä ja polkkauksia silloin tarvittaa sen. And Finland is so close to Russia, that I've been invited to go to Moscow, and there's quite a group waiting for me to appear in Moscow. So there could be a connection, and it's an easy trip. Yeah. And so we'd have to have the Finnish translation and perhaps Russian <coughs> translation. Just pray to the Spirit. How how do you want to do this? How how can we serve the best? Yeah. Yeah. So we're just in prayer about how long and the form of it, whether it's a silent or it's a retreat. If we do come back. Because people need a role model where they need something to show that it can be done, and then they open up. Like all of us dancing and singing in the church. <laughs> Shows it's possible. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't like that in the church that I grew up in either. <laughs> 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 and was an atheist in Beijing. <laughs> So thank you all from the from the bottom of our hearts, and we, yeah, I think the the dining is still open, so we can all go and. I have one more thing to say. Just since we're on the topic of you know joining, but there are other ways of joining too. Uh, we our house it's an old house that my husband he's renovating, and he really enjoys the meditations with those. But if it's guided for someone to come and join with us for a certain period of time, and that can be any projects, it's like Living Miracles is having that kind of a community all over the world. It's been all these years. It's like all these communities have started because people have felt such a desire to come together with backdrops. So it can either be like at a retreat, uh, either with Living Miracles or the Open Heart. And where it's very practical, where you actually join on projects in a whole other way that you've never ever experienced before, because it's all about the undoing of 